I'm hoping that we're able to use either regimens more like dose-adjusted EPOC if we see that there's benefit for these high-risk uh, lymphomas, uh, or if one of these novel agents like lenalidomide or abrutinib turns out to be much more effective. Um, we're now able to phenotype the large cell lymphomas into uh, ABC type versus the GCB type, and we know some drugs will be more beneficial for one subtype. So I think it'll be much more tailored to an individual patient and an individual subtype. And so each year we know more and more about the different classification and that helps us pick the right regimen. That's typically been based on uh, gene expression profiling and that's a very tedious process, uh, expensive and it's not easy to do. Uh, for a lot of uh, um, providers that are outside an academic institution. So people have gone to using an immunohistochemistry approach, uh, and most people use an algorithm called the Hans algorithm, to phenotype uh, either into a GCB, germinal center B cell type, or a non-GCB, or what we should call it activated B cell, or ABC subtype. And we know they have different outcomes with RCHOP chemotherapy, the GCB having a better outcome than the non-GCB or ABC type.